Hi, I'm Chef Seth. Welcome to Noodles Italian Cafe, your home in my kitchen. Today we're going to continue on with our mini series of our Noodles Original Famous Recipes. The one we're going to do today, Noodles Italian Cafe, famous chicken and broccoli and a garlic olive oil sauce for a little spicy. Garlic aglio is the Italian term for it. Aglio olio means garlic and olive oil in Italian. So to get started, we're going to put a little bit of canola oil in the pan. Even though this dish is a olive oil dish, we're not going to start out cooking with the olive oil because the high heat to sear the chicken is just going to dissipate the olive oil, the properties, the proteins. And the canola oil actually has a higher smoking point where the olive oil will burn quicker. And we want to get that oil a little hot so that your chicken doesn't stick. That's your tip, tricks, and recipe for today. So we got the oil nice and hot so your chicken doesn't stick or whatever protein you're using. We're going to put a little salt and pepper on our chicken. We're going to get that right into the pan. So this is basically a very simple dish, but yet it's one that you have to cook the garlic just right. A lot of the flavor comes from the Pecorino Romano cheese that we add to it. It's been a great thing. You know, we've been open since 1991, 27, going to be 28 years soon. And I had a guest in here yesterday, Laura was in, and she said, I've been eating this chicken broccoli with my family for the last 20 something years. And I can't believe it still tastes the same. It's still delicious. And that was a, that was a nice compliment. So while that chicken is cooking, you're gonna take fresh broccoli and you're gonna drop it into some boiling water. You're gonna steam it for about a minute. If you like your broccoli soft, cook it longer. If you like it kind of al dente, still has a lot of the flavor, just blanch it off for like 30 seconds. That's called blanching it off when you drop it into the boiling water. Now with this dish, you have to make sure your chicken is cooked all the way. Because when you add your garlic, to cook the garlic, it's going to be done cooking in about 15, 20 seconds, that garlic. So if your chicken's not where you want it to be, your garlic is going to burn. So now that that chicken is ready, now we're going to add a little of the fresh garlic. Again, this is one of those dishes. Add as much or as little garlic as you like. That is a very good sized tablespoon right there. I'm going to pull the broccoli up out of the water. Let the water drain out of that. She has a nice bright green color. And we want to cook our garlic because we don't want to eat raw garlic, right? So with that garlic, we're going to add a little crushed red pepper, as much or little as you like. We have to add a little salt and pepper because this flavor, this dish doesn't have a lot of natural flavor because of the, the broccoli, bland, the olive oil. Now here's where we add the olive oil. You're going to see it sizzle. That garlic is going to be ready in about 10 seconds. So I'm going to use the broccoli to stop the cooking process. See the garlic is brown, GBD, golden brown and delicious. The broccoli is kind of soaks up the garlic. Here's where we hit it with our Romano cheese. Nice big tablespoon. We take the pasta, which has already been cooked and is hot, put it in there. Mix all the flavors up. You want to hit a little more olive oil now, you can. So your olive oil is still retaining its flavor. You don't have to cook the olive oil, right? You're just warming it up. Right on the plate. Get all that garlic in there and all that deliciousness. A little more cheese, a little parsley. And there you have Noodles Italian Cafe, famous since 1991. Homemade chicken and broccoli, agliolio. Tune in every Wednesday for Noodles recipes, tips, and tricks. And don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Chef Seth Berman.